Today we are going to set up a K40 Chinese laser to work a little safer. I recently bought this Chinese laser cutter on eBay. I would have preferred to buy a Glowforge or full spectrum laser, but as they are not CE certified and shipped from the US, it might have been difficult to get them through customs here in Europe. So I bought this laser for a fraction of the price delivered from a warehouse within Europe. I also bought protective glasses. It is important that you buy glasses that match the wavelength of the laser of 10,640 nanometers. They are around 50 bucks and I will leave a link to the ones I'm using in the description. Don't buy cheap glasses as they won't offer any protection. After unboxing of the laser, you want to visually inspect the laser tube and the electronics. The laser tube shouldn't have any cracks and there should be no loose cables in the control panel. When your power supply is covered with blue foil, remove the four screws at the side so that you can peel off the foil completely before putting the cover back in place. The plastic isolates the heat generated by the electronics and could lead to problems later on. Before closing the cover, we have to take an important safety measure. Take a multimeter and measure the resistance between the ground of your plug and one of the screws that are in touch with the enclosure. In my case, the resistance was far too high as the paint isolates the ground wire from the enclosure. So unscrew the ground wire, grab some sandpaper and remove the paint at the inside where the yellow and green wire is connected. After screwing the wire back in place, you should measure a connection between the case and the ground terminal of your plug. Then close the electronics compartment. In my case, I had to enlarge the opening of the compartment latch so that I could screw the cover back on. Next on the list is the fan. Open the case of the fan and check the connections. In my case, the wires were only loosely connected, especially for a fan that is vibrating quite a bit. This is something we should fix. We quickly solder the wires together and secure the connections with heat shrink tubing. As I had the soldering iron out, I also changed the plug of the water pump. This is not strictly necessary, but I wanted to check the pump without powering on the laser. I placed the pump in 10 liters of distilled water and tried it out. After unscrewing the metal brackets at the inside of the lid and removing the protective cover from the acrylic, I decided that I would build a mobile card for the laser and all accessories so that it's a bit easier to handle. The card holds the water reservoir and can be used as a work surface when the laser is not in use. As soon as the video for that project is ready, I will leave a link in the description. After securing the fan to the case, we are ready to connect the power and switch it on. Before the first cut, we want to check the alignment of the mirrors. Move the power dial to around 10% and put several layers of painter's tape in front of the mirror. Now move the laser head to all four corners and quickly test fire the laser. If, like in my case, all four marks are hitting the same spot, you're good. Otherwise, I'll link to a video that explains the alignment procedure in detail. We are now ready for a test cut. As I am running Linux on my computer and the reviews of the software that came with the machine are not that good, I ignored the software completely and installed K40 Whisperer. I will link to the software for Windows and Linux in the description. After the installation of the software, I increase the timeout values and put the path to Inkscape in the settings box. In Inkscape, I created a circle with a red outline, converted it into a path, save the file and open it in K40 Whisperer. There, I initialize the machine and cut the form. The circle came out nicely. Hopefully this video helps you to make your laser a bit safer. 
I plan some more additions and improvements going forward. If you don't want to miss these, please subscribe to my channel. Also check out some of my other videos and if you want to have a look at future projects, follow me on Instagram.